Okay, my outstanding, wonderful, exquisite friends, you are about to be mesmerized by history. And what is history? Well, history is history. And what is history constructed of? Well, all kinds of ancient monuments and things like that. And Petra is one of the most interesting of all of them. Now, what I am about to show you here is this rock and that rock are the same rock. Okay? Now, this came out of the ground, oh, 10 years ago or so, maybe a little more than that, in that area. This is what its present condition is. Now, what do we see any difference? Yes, we do see a difference. You see this red? You see the red running down here? And these, this little flap looking thing here? What we are looking at, this right here, is this. I didn't show the shoulder. I, I believe this is a, a shoulder or a hip. I'm not sure what. But that's the bone implant. And that's back over this way. Where I started was right here. Okay, so that's where we're starting. Right here. And then it comes over to this slit. And that's this slit. And right above it is this red here. Which is literally blood. You see the blood coming out of that hole? The blood coming out of that hole? That was an artery here, and it was, the whole thing was filled with blood. That's an artery there. That's an artery there. This whole thing is filled with blood to service this tissue. When it first comes out of the ground, the blood is still red because it, there's a thing called oxidation. And blood is specifically designed to change oxidation states rapidly. That's why oxidation and ferrous oxides, which is blood, is <clears throat> all the iron in your blood. Iron is, in your blood is red. And when it, the oxygen gets depleted out of the red blood, it turns bluish in your body. That's your vein blood. So here's your artery blood. And then on the other side, down below, down in here, is where the vein blood is. It, it moves through the tissues and then gets picked up in the veins and sent back. Now, this is all muscle striations, right? These are muscles. This is what they call an abrupt transition. This is also an abrupt transition right here. It starts off very mineralized, the muscle. Here's what you have happen. Here's your bone, all right? There's whatever that bone was. I don't know whether it was a shoulder or a hip or whatever. And that's the central part, which attached to another ball. Like the, I believe there's a ball here and another ball over here. Something like that. Now, this has to glue to the bone. This is literally glue. When I took it out of the ground, I looked at it in the microscope. You can see it literally glue. And then this por portion right here, which is this portion, is highly tendinous. Very, very strong tendons. And then it changes into muscle. So right here, where the tendons give up, it goes into the muscle. And these are all bundles of muscle. If you could look at what they look like over here, you can see they're all bundles of muscle. See? And they're all broken off at the ends where they, they turn into very fleshy muscle. Now, the point being here is that this is biology. That is biology. Change, rocks change very quickly. That's why everybody's, oh, that's just a rock. It's just an old brown rock. This is now, yes, it looks like an old brown rock. I agree. But originally, when I first took it out of the ground, you could see all the blood and everything. Now, let's take a look at Petra. And then we're also going to go back to what phys physics girl did up in Alaska, because it's ex exactly identical striations of muscle. We are looking at a whole new world here, entirely new, because we didn't see what was in front of our eyes. All right, I have the microscope right here, pointing down at a spot on this rock. And here's what it looks like. It's, it's just like the canyons and crevices up at Petra, where they're crawling through these little spaces and, and getting into these canyons and so forth and that's all that is is that rock and you can see the difference today than it was back then you see how perfectly articulated it is back here 
it just changes because of oxidation and being weathered and, and so forth. And it wasn't even weathered here. It's been inside my shot for at least 10 years. All right, this is a different shot from the back. Now, the, the round bone is right here. This is all tendons. Now, what they attach to, I am not sure, but I'm going to tell you what. There is a ton of tendinous material here. And all of those straps ran down to something. You see these things? This is how it looks just like Petra. I mean, it looks like the damn same thing. This just came out of the ground like this. I didn't carve anything. I didn't do anything to that. But I can tell you what, these are muscle bundles. And they're just broken right off. All right, and then if we come over this way, we're back to the shoulder. Well, let, me just, let me just move it around so you can see. See, there's a shoulder. So all of these tendons come running out the back here. I mean, this was a very, whoops, complicated, <laughs> you know, I, I think it probably was a shoulder. Shoulders got all kinds of things going down your back. Um, I got anatomical shots of this, but anybody understands. You, you got all kinds of movement in your shoulder, trust me, and, and I don't have it right now because I ripped my shoulder out and I could just barely lift this rock. I'll probably be in pain after that. <laughs> but this is literally the guy's outside of his skin here. All right, and then you go down into the muscle. All right, and you have the same thing. That's like the outside of your shoulder. And then just below that, you got a bunch of blood under here that feeds your muscles that are running your, your arm and your shoulder and all that stuff. Whoops, I don't know if you could see what I was doing there. I had it focused in a little too far. This is the the bone areas. You see it? Round little spot, round spot. And you see that? That's where the, the blood came down. And I put my finger on there and I could feel there's a hole there. That's where the artery was. Little pieces of stuff are coming off here. But this has been growing in my shop for 10 years. And, and that's why you see you're going to see, wherever you see these red, I mean, a lot of very, very vibrant green. That's blowing, growing out of blood. Now, the reason this isn't vibrant green is because I haven't put any water on it. But if I'd have been watering this, it would be just like that. All right, this is the BBC station, and this is Petra Jordan. Now, I, I'm going to show you this, and I, I was going to do all this in one big presentation but I'm just going to cut it up into pieces so I'm going to stop before too long as, as we get to the treasury here goes it may be too rocky too arid but here canyons and gullies became the streets what I want you to notice here is that they carved this into wet flesh at the time they did it, it must have been moist. I, that's my feeling. And when you go inside the treasure, you can see all the muscle. You can see the blood leaking out of it and everything. So this was, and I'll show you the giant creatures that we're talking about. They were just absolutely enormous. All right, I looked around Petra. I can't really figure out what it is, but there's biology everywhere. I mean, it's just everywhere. All those different colors are the, the different colors means different biology. Now let me just show you, I think this is Typhon here, this dragon right here. And there's the dragon's head. Now the creatures we're talking about were literally astronomically large. And I, I can, the only thing I can think of is they had to come from space. There's no way they could have lived on this earth comfortably. You know, the way the earth is now. I don't know what it was like then, but... And this was only 3,500 years ago or so, it's apparently, because that's what Velikowski puts these accounts at when the earth was wrenched and destroyed. And these things are on the surface of the earth. They're not buried under the ground at all. This thing's laying on the surface of the earth, this dragon. And these are the dragon scales in his throat. Now let's follow the throat down. You see this? This is the throat. And you see the scales? They start to get, you know, he's got a little jowl here that he's got scales. But as it gets down here, they become very, very uniform. You see him down here? And this white fluty stuff is what you see on the parade dragons all over China and Asia. They revered them. I don't know. Some people hated them. Some people loved them. I don't know. Maybe there were different personalities. No clue. But all of this stuff here 
is runoff. The red and black is runoff. This was the decisive blow that killed this dragon. It cut his throat right there. You see that? That is a chop. And that is blood leaking out in the desert. That is literally blood leaking out from that dragon's throat in the desert. Now, remember I talk about the red and the black. This is the artery blood. This was from the vein. Two different styles of blood. It's two different oxygenation states. Now, and this cut is on an ancient map showing this dragon all the way across North Africa. Because this is not a puppy dragon. This goes all the way across North Africa. All the way over to here. His flutey tail is over here. You can see the dragon scales right here. All right, and they're running off too from his dead, decaying body. That's what things. What do you think this stuff is leaching out of? It's leaching out of a dead, decomposing body. And this was a avian creature. I've shown it over and over a hundred times at least, attacking this gigantic fish with his venom up here, which is everybody's telling me is a cobra venom or something. I don't know. It looks pretty nasty to me. I don't know what it is. But I wouldn't want to step in it. Now, he spit this stuff all over this dragon's, I mean, uh, fish's back and ate into its vital flesh. And we can see that it, it does have vital flesh and it was eaten into. Let's come right down to the fish's back. You see all this stuff? This is not just normal. Oh, yeah, they just ran away from this or to run off and so forth. No, this was spit from this dragon onto this fish and it ate into his vital flesh and look at how su super you can see every tiny blood vessel being serviced. These are like arteries coming down and then they break into little blood vessels that service all the tissues. We're in, we're in a world we had no idea about. Nobody's ever taken the time to think this thing through. And it's time somebody does. I have. And the conclusions are stunning. And they are possibly eternal in nature. Because this, the, the things that they've talked about, and these religious sects and all that stuff, we've always thought they were insane. Well, I don't know. Some of them might be. Some of them might be perfectly sane. But I can tell you what. They had some knowledge that we didn't have, and we still don't have, and we refuse to have. Not that we don't have it, we refuse to accept it. Now, I'm going to be doing these part one, part two, and so forth. Now, I'm going to be showing the Alaska, the cave up there that the physics girl was in. That's identical striations, no difference whatsoever. And I'm, I'm going to just keep hammering this until somebody starts to put this in the mainstream and it gets on some kind of news. I'm perfectly willing to talk. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to do this in... Um, parts one, two, three, and two, I mean, who knows how many. And then I'm going to go into my no-toes and all these things that we just are refusing to accept. I, I don't care if you accept them or not, but I just want them to be allowed to be seen. And then people that accept them, accept them. People deny them, deny them. But they have to come with evidence. I'm coming with evidence myself. Now, this is biology. I don't think anybody can deny this anymore. This is actually muscle sarcomeres, and I will show this in great detail, extreme detail, again and again and again and again. This is inside the treasury. That's inside. That's a muscle. This is this is connective tissues. This dark stuff is the vein area. This red stuff is the, the um, artery area. This is all muscle tissue, and this is all right inside the treasury of Petra. It was a gigantic creature. 